Hello YouTube, it is I, Pocket Gamer here, giving you an exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds on the last episode. I don't remember what we did. Jeez. Oh, I remember. We, were, we went to, um... It wasn't Turtle Rock. It was the Water Cavern, whatever. We went to... We went somewhere near the bottom. Oh, I remember. It's the, um, Wind Palace. So we're heading off to the Wind Palace this episode, actually. So, yeah. Why did I teleport like that? <laughs> I was literally right here. Anyway, sorry for wasting your time right here at the beginning. Um, last episode we acquired quite a few items. We got the Zora Flippers, and I remember we need to bring, start buying some, well, renting some items. So, let's go ahead and do that. That's right, I, I told you guys we were going to rob your shop, so let's go on to there. So yeah, Ravio is here, he's starting to sell items, well not sell items, but he got rid of, well he didn't get rid of, but he just threw all of her stuff to the side, and he decided to make his own little shop right here, so now we can start renting even more items. Besides that, um, the main item we're going to need is the tornado rod, that green leaf, shy pet, <laughs> green leaf shaped helicopter you saw on the side right there at the top left corner of the room. I, why am I skipping this? This is new dialogue, I forgot. <laughs> Anyways, um... <laughs> see, there you go. <laughs> he rents us his house and you can rent all of your items. And besides that. So, we can start renting items. So, all the items that we need, we can acquire them here. Um... We cannot buy items just yet. Uh... The reason is because, well, we don't need him quite yet. But right now, I think he's going to mention that um, the hammer and the tornado rod's going to be in special. So, let's see. Mm, yeah, there you go. So, it's the 20 rupees. So, let's go ahead and do that. The two main, like I said, the two main items that we're gonna need is the tornado rod and the hammer. So let's go ahead and just get these first. And each of them are twenty rupees. So yeah. So let's go ahead and get the next. We're just gonna go ahead and actually no. We spend all of our rupees doing that. And we need to buy items later in the future. And like I said before, we're going to need at least 3,000 rupees for one of the quests in this game. Besides that, let's go on and let's actually go to the main area that we need to go. Um, there's like side quests. Like for example, one of the side quests right now is going to be right here. But I won't be doing that until like halfway through the game. So let's go on. I think I got. Yes, I got it. Okay, good. Uh, why am I playing like this? I barely realized. <laughs> I was playing like New Super Mario Bros. 2 style, which I just hold up uh, my two fingertips to the buttons and the D pad, and I barely realized I need all the buttons. Besides that, let's go ahead, equip the tornado rod, and boom! Secret switch! Wind Palace. So let's go on to our dungeon tonight. It's dungeon time. AKA it's time to die. <laughs> because you guys saw a lot. Even in the first tutorial dungeon. Before we even got the bracelet. We died. Twice. So. Let's get ready for that. The house gales. Secret switch right there. And for like it did for the previous places. We're going to be getting. Um. We're going to be getting all the treasure chests and the items. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. And besides that, see you guys, we're still at the risk of taking two hits and we're dead. So we got to be careful right there. So let's go ahead and equip this and this. There you go. First treasure chest. I think this is the compass. No, this is rubies. Never mind. Let's go ahead and put this on the way. We have the tornado rod. Okay. 
like I said, this is gonna be a twenty. Actually, I think I may upload the whole dungeon tonight since I didn't upload any videos at all today, so Let's hope everything goes well, hey? Ah, no! Those gives you two damage hit as well, so you gotta be careful with these things Ah, jeez, there we go So anyways, let's go collect our treasure chest. I think this is where we get an introduction. Yes, the monster guts uh, Monster guts, like I said before you use them to trade him into the witch in um, later in the game, and we get the um, we get potions basically. As so I said, we gotta hit this down switch, go up, and merge into the wall. So, Link Between Worlds, like I said before, I finished it recently. It's not too hard and it's not too easy. It's hard because, well, I haven't beaten Link to the Past. I forgot to mention that. Link to the Past, I own it. I have it on my Wii, but I and I also had it on the SNES. But let me tell you, I never beat it because it was confusing for me. I didn't know where to go, and since this one has more dialogue than any other Zelda game, I it has cutscenes something. Ink like the new games gives me clues but they're not quite clear sometimes what I'm trying to say is this is not the superior version obviously Link Between uh, Link to the Past is the superior one and that's why I like the challenge that's why I chose this version that's a hard mode there's our compass now we get to know where all the items are so let's go ahead and do that so besides that this game like I said before, it's not the easiest and it's not the hardest because we need to do a lot in this game and oh my god, <laughs> I thought I was going to fall there uh, oh jeez, I forgot this puzzle how did this puzzle go? I think, oh wait, I think I may need to come to this room later so why did I come here yet? Yeah, you can take the top route, so we're not even allowed to be here yet. Or are we? Hold on, guys. Give me a second. The whole dungeon will be up. No, there you go. I don't know why I thought... Oh, no. Hurry up. <laughs> ah, are you kidding me? At least right here, so... Let's go ahead more. There we go. Jeez, already eight minutes into the video. Video game time has expired really fast. Besides that, we're almost, like I said, I'm almost near the break, so bear with me, guys. Like I said, this is gonna be a whole complete dungeon torture. I'm, oh no! I'm amazed I survived that. I should have died. Like I said, I'm gonna be almost at the point of the break. So let's just hope I can finish this before the break. I think, yeah, you confused them. And even more confused. And I'm dead. Commercial break, everyone. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, yeah, sorry about that death. Like I said before, this isn't going to be a 100% uh, no death run. This is obviously gonna be sometimes tough and sometimes gonna be easy. On my personal file, I think I believed at least 17 times because this game is donkey balls hard. <laughs> it's really hard. I kid you not. It's one of the hardest Zelda games that I've played in a while because I, it, since it's playing in a classic format. Some parts are confusing and some cards are pretty clear, so. There's our switch, and we're not going there just quite yet. We need to go do something else, so. Yeah, here we go. We go in here, and we're gonna get our treasure chest that we needed to get since the last time. Let's just hope we don't get hit by any rats. Triple kill. Alright. So far so good. 
So we're going, all we need for this treasure is just, just morph all the way to the wall. All the way to the left. There you go. And 100 rupees. See how useful rupees are? <laughs> See why they give us so many rupees in the first place? Besides that, let's go ahead and move on. Okay. So, we're ready now to move on to the next part. So, I don't know why I was going here. We need to go down here. Get sent up. I think this is considered the Wind Temple. Since it's considered the House of Gales. So. Or actually, I think that's a reference to Wind Waker because there was a level something about Gales. Ballad of Gales. And that was using the tornado ult to um, transport yourself to different areas of that game. But like I said, we won't get to console gaming until that point. So. Wii games will not be done until a quite a while, so you guys just gotta wait on me on that. So besides that, this isn't this this it's like it's kind of hard, but it's also not the easiest dungeon. <laughs> that, that made it seem hard already. <laughs> um, no, it's not the e it's it's the easiest but yet hardest dungeon if you're playing in the intermediate level. So that bat's gonna hit me. Oh my god. Hey, these bats, they follow you everywhere. Why can't be the, they just be like the other bats? Just... Ah, uh, no. How, which switch was it? Was it this one? I hope it was. There we go. Uh, I think one of those triggers traps. Or both of them, both of these trigger traps. Hey, there you go. So, you guys gotta be careful, but I'm gonna be triggering all traps. Because kill enemies and you get rupees sometimes. See, like I get fives, I get ten. It's useful. So I don't know. It's too early, too early, too early. There we go. We need to go over here first because our key is right over here. Next thing you need to do, actually, let's not do that yet because we're a little on energy. Ah, sorry guys, I have to do something really fast with my. Ah, no, that sounds weird. I had, I had to use my right hand to just like move to move the screen on my computer because I'm doing something as well. So it already sounds weird enough. <laughs> Besides that key, and we can access that locked door that's up there. But before we do that, we actually need to um, come over here because there is a treasure chest. But in order to get the treasure chest, we need to move this switch first. Triggering that other switch will cause uh, fire, so you don't want fire. Ah. Okay, these things also give you one damage. That's a good thing. Well, the regular thing to give you one damage, and then we get triggered into fire. And what's a good thing to do? Tornado rock because that stuns them. Oh, but yeah, as you guys saw, I was about to say it. Uh, the fire regenerates, so you gotta be careful and you gotta be quick. To not get hit by it. Besides that, let's move this switch on. Remember what this does. Oh, see, there you go. Fires. Besides that, let's move on in here. And let's go on to that other section. But before, parts. Because the next session will require us to use the. Let's just say there's heat enemies in there for some reason in the wind temple. It's gonna be hard, so. Let's go on in. And mini boss. All you gotta do is pretty simple. Flames off. Attack, attack, attack. Just attack as fast as you can before they lit up again. And oh my god, that was close. I thought I was gonna get hit. Alright. There's one down. Let's get that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, we're almost there. I think that's the left. There we go. Oh my gosh. Alright. So. We got a checkpoint. Now at least we don't have to worry about this. Because if you didn't pass it the first time. You will, would probably have to do it again. So. Thankfully for me and my proper skills. For this puzzle. Just follow exactly what I do. That one. That one. And that one. That's all you gotta do. Because you will get sent back. So you gotta be careful. Let's get our hats and let's go up here and I think there's a switch up here somewhere. 
Come on, Zach, get down. There we go. I don't know why they make an eagle sound. It's very confusing. As I said, we gotta go back over here if we wanna just progress in me at least, so yeah. There we go. We go in here and we go and activate this switch right over here. That's why we need the arrows because we need to shoot an arrow over there. Besides that, we can't. These things. Uh, okay, three hits, and then the fourth hit is the final hit. There we go. Alright, and I think that's a one hit enemy as well, so. Well, I mean, a what? Yeah, one, one heart. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's a one hit for the enemy, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, see, like, the bats, it does one damage to us. Uh, there we go, we go up here, and we're almost near the boss, so, like I said, the dungeons are going to be complete episodes, so, get ready guys, because this is going to be a 100% guide for the all items, all chests, everything in this dungeon, so, morph into this wall, come over here, kill the rats, because, ah, dang it, it hit me, oh my god, no, no, not now, Eh, eh. Wrong one. Okay, at least it's that. Alright, I think that, yeah, there you go. He access to the other room, and we're almost gonna get to the next break, so bear with me, guys. And, mini boss. This one isn't hard, as long as you know what you're doing. So, all you gotta do for this one is wait for some of them to appear, use the wind rod, make them fall. Use the wind rod, make them fall. It's pretty easy, so... Uh, except for some of them. Some of them will actually not fall for the trap. Like this guy. Uh, okay, we're almost near the end. We gotta do this fast so we can hit break. Uh, there we go. No, Jesus. And I almost there. Oh no! Come on, magic power. I think that's it. There we go. We did it. Alright, guys. Okay, guys. Time for another break. So, I'll see you guys in just a bit. Starting now. Alright, guys. I'm back. So. Let's move on to the next room. These don't replicate, that's a good thing. Oh, that's right, you guys, we already encountered these. These just like, they like, just like the red ones, except they don't make doubles or tiny doubles or whatever you want to call them. But besides that, uh, let's move on here. Let's get our treasure chest that we rightfully deserve because we survived a swarm that we could have possibly died immediately. We got a small key, no biggie. Let's move on. This, I I think this is gonna be it after this one I think we might be able to reach the first boss so yay actually why am I going in here yet we need to come back here to get our treasure chest because we couldn't get it before yes 50 rupees woohoo but we still 50 rupees are 50 rupees so we need that for the to purchase um, items later in the game besides that we're almost near the end of the dungeon so There we go. No, no. No, no. Alright, so. Let's move on to boss number one. I'm not even sure what the heck this thing is, honestly. Kind of creepy. Essentially, all you gotta do, since you just got your recently acquired wind item, Make them to see, strike them as fast as you can on the eye. And after that, he'll even get even bigger and stronger, and that's when you need to start using your sword to strike. And you gotta be careful because when it strikes a wall or it strikes you, it will push you. It does not do damage. The only way you can do damage is when it pushes you off the wall or the stage or whatever you want to call it. Be like right there. 
Alright. I promise you guys I will not die in the first boss because he is the easiest boss out of all of them, honestly. So now it's revealed to one eye. So win time. Confused time. I don't know how I was hitting him. Besides that, we're in the final phase, so all we gotta do is gotta do this one more time and we're done. Oh that's right, it gets stronger now, so you gotta be careful. So there we go. Ah! Right. I think it's five hits per thing. No, don't push me off. Okay, that's five. Almost there. Jesus. There we go. One more. One more. And then we're done with the stupid boss. I'm done with the stupid dungeon that I don't want to do anymore. And final strike. One, two, three. There we go. First boss done within like two minutes. Boom. And somehow we're still floating in the air, so just letting you know. There we go. <laughs> Besides that, we got the first pendant, which is the blue pendant. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I read the Hyrule Historia, and it's also been a while since I played a Zelda game, so it's kind of hard for me to remember what I needed to do. But besides that, we got the Pendant of Wisdom. So after this, we're not going on, and we're going to head off to Death Mountain. But before that, since we already did this, we have 800 rupees. Um... I think it's time to do something else. I was gonna do something. Oh, that's right. I don't want to do it because I, actually, I want to. I want to do it because I want to mess up again. We're going off to Kakaria Village to get that one item that we needed to get for the last five episodes. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go down here, and we're going to see a bee house. We're gonna be introdu introduced to the bee man. So let's talk to him. But besides that, um, nah. Besides that, this guy he pays us for collecting bees, so he'll also give us a, a, a net. So, -da -da -da. we now have the ability to catch bees that are trying to attack us. But not only that, we're also gonna be able to catch, um fairies so thank you game but besides that um we did quite a bit of progress tonight's episode was long uh because we did the first dungeon so yeah good job me and thank you guys for actually supporting there's our first b let's items all right i'll demonstrate by doing this gosh dang it ah Smart B. There we go, we caught a B. But besides that, let's get ready. And attack the chicken just because I want to. Just to show you guys how the whole cuckoo thing was before. And soon. Chickens! Oh no! Alright guys, it is I, Pocky Gamer here saying good night. Be safe. And next time on The Legend of Zelda. We're going on a warrant to tackle Death Mountain. So, yeah. Let's collect some roops before. Let's go save our house because, just because. Because, like I said before, I said because too many times. Like right there, I said because. <laughs> um, you guys know the reason. It's because whenever I save, that means the end of the video. So before we do that, let's get some rupees. So just use the remaining of the time of the 30 minute episode time. And yeah. Alright guys. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, Link Between Worlds, we're heading off to Death Mountain. And we're going to be using our newly acquired hammer. So, alright. 
save. There you go. All right, now for real. It's I, Pocket Gamer, here saying to all of you, good night, take care, and have a safe evening. All right, guys, see you later.